How to boot up and start up the Google Pixel 6a. Welcome to one of the smartphones tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to start up and activate, pretty much get the Google Pixel 6a to its home screen. Um, if you're just wanting to start this up, um, I will not be signing in any kind of my information. I'm just going to go through the startup wizard to get us to that home screen. So here we are. Welcome to your Pixel. Um, we're getting, just going to go ahead and make sure the language is set. It's set already preset to English. If you want to change it, all you got to do is tap on it and select it. So I'm choose whatever language you want. I'm going to hit cancel because it's already set to English. And once that is set, I'm going to go ahead and hit get started. Now it's asking to connect to a uh, mobile network. Um, if you have a SIM card, insert it now. Um, I don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit skip. Now it's asking me to connect to Wi-Fi. Once the networks pop up, I will select mine and add the address or add the password. And now that the passcode is typed in, I'm just going to go ahead and select connect. So now it's obtaining the IP address and it is getting ready. So it says getting your phone ready. Uh, this may take a few minutes. So just like that, it went through just a few moments um, and it's asking us to copy apps and data. Uh, if you have a different device and you're looking to update this to be your new one, you can go ahead and copy it by hitting next and it'll take you through the process of transferring all your information over. Um, since I'm not, I'm just starting this up as a blank dummy phone. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. Now it's going to go ahead and check for info. And now it's looking for a Google sign in since I'm going to be um, not doing that. I'm going to go ahead and skip. And it says, are you sure you want to skip? Here's everything you're missing out on. I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now. Um, scroll down. This is your Google services. I'm just going to go ahead and select accept. Um, additional legal terms. Accept. Um, that's asking us for a password, pin, password, anything like that. Um, screen lock options, pattern, pin, or password. You can select any of those. Since I don't want anything on mine, it's just going to be the swipe. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, skip here. And it says skip for the pin and fingerprint. Pretty much you're losing the security. I'm going to go ahead and skip it just because this will, this phone will not be leaving my house. Um, and we ha here we have, you know, all the different apps that are selected that are going to be on there. You can go ahead and just select OK. If there's any of them that you don't want on there, deselect them. And they will not be on there when the phone boots up. So just like that, now we are going through a little startup thing. So it's showing us swipe to navigate your phone, different gestures, things like that to go ahead and try and check out. If you have the set, you know, if you have the time, go ahead and do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit skip. Now it's telling us that hey, we're all set. Start using your phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and swipe down and it takes us to the home screen. So here we are. First look at the home screen. Swipe to the left. If you're signed into a Google account, it'll bring up the information there, which is pretty cool. And here we have just regular, you know, the background looks a little blurry, out of focus, so to speak. We have our apps that are already pre-selected on our device, and they're already there. So anything that's on here, just a quick, you know, camera asking for information there. There you guys have it. Just a quick startup um, tutorial video on how to get to the home screen without any other additional um, information that's going to be required. So without signing into any of these other different accounts. So if you guys found this video helpful, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody who might be looking for this information. And if you guys like to see other helpful tips and tricks on the Google Pixel 6a, be sure to check out that playlist in the description below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.